Hi guys, it's Simmer Deb. Welcome to another Sims 4 Let's Build, the series where we build a room together in real time. Today I thought we would build a modern home office, and I've got a couple of ideas for the office. Um, I know that I would like to have windows around the desk area, and I also know that I would like to have one wall um, with some built-in bookcases, cabinets, and things of that nature. So let's just get started. Um, I'm going to plan out the room maybe about this size and see how that works. We can always make it bigger or smaller as we go along. And let's go ahead and throw in some lights so that we can see what we're doing here. I like these. Um, let's put one over here in this area and a couple over here somewhere maybe like that. We should be able to see pretty well now. And this is the area that I'd like to put the desk in. So let's go to the windows. Um, also, before we do that, let's go ahead and make this the me medium height or the middle height wall. Um, and let's find some modern windows. Let's use these in this dark brown color and just fill all three of these walls with windows. Okay? All right, now um, let's go ahead and pick out some flooring for this home office. I think maybe a wood flooring might be nice. Um, I like this flooring a lot. Why don't we try using, we could go really dark or we could go really light. Um, let's try this lightest color and see how this works. And we can always change it later if we don't like it. Now for the walls, um, I'd like to do a paneling in here and then a wall color, but we'll get to that after we put in some of our uh, furniture and we'll try to see which colors look best with our furniture. So let's go ahead and pick us out a desk. Okay, and we'll use um, a modern desk. Let's go ahead and use this one. And why don't we use the blues? This, yeah, wait. Uh, we'll use one of the blues. We'll try this blue and see how this blue does. We may change it later. And let's go ahead and get a desk chair. Um, we'll go with this fancy pantsy one and it comes in blue. So go ahead and put that there. And of course, you know, we need a computer. Definitely need a computer. So we will go ahead and put that in while we're here. Um, probably, let's go with this one. Not the most expensive, not the cheapest. And we are going to need probably a light on this desk. Let's just use this handy dandy office type light. Stick him right there. That looks pretty good. Okay. Now on to some more furniture. Let's work on this wall. Um, we could go ahead and do our paneling and our wall color. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and find a, let's do some blue for our paint color and then we'll have paneling um, to accent that. So let's go into the paints. Um, we could use these basic standard colors or we could use the darks. The darks might be a little bit too dark. Um, let's just go ahead and use the one that they have selected and we can always change it later if we don't like it. Let's just go ahead and go with this for right now. That looks pretty good with that desk. And let's go ahead uh, and go into the paneling. I really like this paneling right here. Um, why don't we choose this really light color for right now. And we'll put it um, in this area around the desk. That looks pretty good with that floor. It looks about the same color as the floor. And let's also do this wall in the paneling. And then we can have the other two walls blue 
as an accent. Okay. Um, now let's go ahead and work on our built-ins. Um, I'm thinking a couple bookcases and a couple of um, cabinets and things like that. So let's go and find us some bookcases. Probably this bookcase is going to be our best bet because it's a one tile bookcase and it is exactly one tile so it would work better um, for creating that built-in kind of look. And then we can take and put some cabinets here. Some counters. Uh, we can just go with this. And we can go with the off-white. But one thing I've noticed uh, in a game, in one of my personal games where I was just kind of playing around, I've noticed that this white counter, it kind of bugs me because even though it's white, it doesn't match the white of the bookcases. And let's make sure that we do have white chosen for the bookcases. Yes, we do. Um, so why don't we go ahead and do a counter, a cabinet that is a different color. We can use like a blue with a white top on it maybe. And that way it will kind of coordinate with our room. But it won't be like we're trying to match it too closely and that way it won't stick out so bad that it doesn't match exactly. You know what I mean by that? Does that make sense? Okay, let's go ahead and put two of those here. Um, oh, also, one thing that I figured out by, quite by accident, if we use the Move Objects On sheet, um, okay, we can take some lighting, wall lighting, and we can put it behind the bookcases, and it lights up the bookcases from within, and you can't really see, you can't see these lights at all. But it makes it look pretty neat. Look, see how how I'm doing that and lighting that up. And when I when I do that, and you can put it, you know, various places. You just have to find the right place. And I think right there is probably the right place. And we'll get rid of that first one that we put. It makes it look a lot better. And see, it looks even whiter now than what it did before. Oops, sorry, hit the escape key. Um, we'll go ahead and get rid of this this light that I put down here. Where are you? There you are. Go ahead and get rid of that. Um, but I think that makes a nice touch in the bookcases. It, you know, it does put some light in there. Okay, now let's pick out some shelves. And I know I still do have the Move Objects On sheet on. So we will go ahead. Uh, let's pick out some shelves, some white shelves. This one comes in a pretty good white. So let's go ahead and maybe stick these here and maybe one more row of shelves. Now I'm going to be using the Move On Objects On sheet to fill these shelves up. And one thing um, that really helps when you're doing that is anytime I try to put something on these shelves, I'll show you. Um, like, let's say that I want to put some clutter on these shelves. Some book clutter, maybe. Like these books. Okay. When I, try, when I hit the F9 to try to move them up and everything, they're just going to sit there. I'm hitting the F9 key right now. They're just going to sit there. They're not going to go, oh, well, they did go. Ha, huh, neat. Okay. Perhaps I was wrong. <laughs> what I was getting ready to say is that sometimes you have problems with this because they want to stick to this counter. If you do have problems with that, we can just move the counters out of the way until we get all of our stuff where we want it on the shelves, and those are floating in midair, um, and then put the counters back. So that's what I'm going to do, just so that I don't run into any problems. Let's go ahead and move that down a little bit. Um, we'll stick them maybe right there. Is that? And we're going to have to come in close um, to get those exactly where we want them. Otherwise, they're just going to be weird. So let's go ahead and put those right there. We've got those books there. Okay, and um, maybe some more books. Let's do another color. Let's do this color. Hit the F9 key to raise it up. And of course, this only works when you have the Move Objects On sheet on. Okay, let's see if we can't put these maybe right there. 
And we'll check and make sure that everything lines up the way we want it to. And that looks pretty good. Okay. What other kind of clutter would we like to have up here? We can put a couple pictures up here, maybe. Put a picture right there. Or let's, let's move it to here. Put that right there. Um, how about a pencil cup? Where's the pencil cup? There's the pencil cup. Let's stick us a pencil cup maybe right there. And we can have some more books. There's seems like they're, uh, here we go. Here's some books uh, that we can put up here. And these are pretty big books, so I'm probably going to put these on the countertop instead of on a shelf. But we can put, um, how about some, we could put plants. Let's just see what else we've got that we can put up here on the shelf. Don't really see anything in here. Let's go back to clutter. Maybe, oh, I know what we can do. We can put some statues on here. Like um, the, the train cars and things like that. We could put a little red caboose if it came in red, which it does not come in red. Uh, we can put an engine car in red up here. Let's try that and see how that looks. See if that looks neat. You know, maybe your sim likes to build models, you know, model train sets or something like that. Okay, put that up there. Um, what else could we put up here? We could put, oh, how about this ship? Why don't we do that? Why don't we, the ship might be too big. Um, yeah, the ship is pretty big. Why don't we stick the ship, the ship, is the ship not going to go on the counter? Huh, wonder why the ship won't go on the counter. Well, we will fix that. We'll put the ship on the counter later. How about that? Okay, let's see what else we've got. Um, got more train things. I think we have some cars too, don't we? Yes, we do. We have some cars. We could put a rooster up there. <laughs> Why don't we put this River Queen paddle boat up here? Um, maybe in the blue color. Why don't we try that? That's pretty neat looking. Let's see if we can get that lined up there pretty good. I think that looks pretty good. All right. And maybe throw in one more um, stack of books in here. I think there's another a color I haven't used. I don't think I've used this color. So let's go ahead and stick these up here. We'll put these right here. Okay, now we've got our shelves pretty much um, cluttered up pretty well. Okay, now let's see. Put these back and that wants to disappear so we will just put that on the floor until we get everything moved back now we can put these here and where is our ship there's our ship and that ship just does not want to go there maybe the shelf is too low I bet that's the problem I bet the shelf is too low let's try shelf going to hit it? Well, yeah, the shelf hits it. So that's the problem with that. So what we're going to do is we will move this to the counter. How about that? And then we will put the ship up here. Let's see if that works. I don't know if that's right. Okay, we need to move it a little. Of course, just hold down the Alt key until you get it where you want it. And that looks pretty neat, pretty nifty. Okay. I think I'm fairly happy with that. You know what I think I might be happier with? Let's get rid of this engine and let's put that globe. There's a globe that will go there. Um, I don't know if it's under miscellaneous or if it's under statues. It might be under statue. Nope, there it is. Let's put this globe here because you need a globe in an office so that you know where you're where you are and where your ship is going. <laughs> right? Right. Okay. Now, these bookcases are not quite as tall as what I really wish they were. So what I'm thinking about doing is let's put something on top of these bookcases to make them look a little bit taller. And you know what I think I might want to try? I think I might want to try 
this window box flower thingy <laughs> and see if I can make it fit up there. Ha! Huh. That doesn't look too bad, I don't think. I think that looks pretty nifty, pretty good, pretty good. Okay, and let's go ahead. Is that the color that we want? What colors does this come in? Um, comes in red, pink, blue, white. We'll just leave that pink for now. And let's put another one on top of the other bookcase. And we'll make it a different color. We'll make it, we'll make it the, do we want the blue or the white? There's really not that much difference. We'll make it the white just for a little bit more contrast against that blue wall. I think that looks okay. And you know what I'd like to put up here? One thing when I'm, I'm building rooms, I, I usually only want to put windows on one wall. That way if someone downloads it from the gallery, they don't have to make this room a corner room. They can put a room, you know, on, on either side. And I just realized I don't have a door. So let's put a door in. But what I'm going to do is, uh, let's just use this plain Jane door. It's fine. We'll just stick the door there. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put some windows up here just to make it look a little bit more interesting. However, um, if you do decide that you want to download this from the gallery and you don't want this room to be on a corner, you can always just delete these windows. But I think I'll, I'm just going to put those there just to give it just a little bit more oomph, just a little bit more interest. What do you think? Think that looks okay? I think it does. All right, now, we've got that wall done, which I'm really happy with the way that, that that turned out. And now we've got all this other space over here. Well, you know what? Um, just because this is a home office does not mean that it should not be a relaxing place for your sim to come. You know, maybe your sim has got a stack of reports that they want to read through, and they don't really feel like sitting at their desk to read through them all. Maybe they want a nice little sitting area so they can relax and read their reports or maybe read a book that the boss has asked them to read. So let's, let's just make us a little sitting area here. And why don't we start by putting in a nice cozy fireplace. Um, let's maybe use a blue color for that fireplace. How about that? Also, on the floor, let's put a little hearth area, which I don't really know why the fireplaces in Sims 4 don't have a hearth connected to them like Sims 3, because in real life, I have never seen a fireplace that did not have some kind of tile, some kind of hearth below it. So let's go ahead, and this is probably my favorite um, to use, and this is or the brick, but with modern, this is my favorite, and this is that clean slate tile. Is that what it, that's called? Yeah, it is. Okay. All right, so we've got us a fireplace here. Um, let's go ahead and stick us some furniture in real quick. And, of course, we're going to want to go with modern furniture. Let's stick us a love seat because there's probably not enough room here to do a full couch. Let's go with this darkest blue. I think that probably fits pretty well. And just stick him right there, maybe. Yeah. Let's go ahead and stick some chairs in with it. This darkest blue. Put one there and one there. And we need a rug underneath this. Oh, and I know exactly which rug I want to use. Um, I have a favorite, one of my favorite rugs in here that I love to put together. It's actually a runner. And it's this one right here, this hopscotch runner. And I think it comes in a color. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, let's use this one. And what I love to do is I love to um, just put it together and make a big rug out of it. So let's do that. And it's really easy to put this particular rug together and make a big rug out of it. Some of the rugs are hard to do, but this one's pretty easy to line up and, and get it to look right. So there we go. Let's do another one. That one's a little bit off and it will bug me if I don't fix it. 
because I'm a little bit OCD sometimes. And that still didn't. It still wants to snap. Okay, that looks good. All right, so now we have got a rug under our little seating area. Okay, um, let's put us a, a table, a coffee table here. And we'll go ahead and use that blank slate coffee table. Um, I did click coffee tables, right? Coffee tables. We'll use this blank slate coffee table. Oh, and you probably, everyone probably already knows this already. But just in case there's one or two people out there who are watching who do, who do not know this, tabula rasa is Latin for blank slate. And that's why I, I called this blank slate table without thinking about it. But that is what tabula rasa means. Um, translated from Latin, uh, blank slate. Okay, so we will stick that right there. And let's go ahead and use that um, other table, this table. We'll go ahead and put it behind the sofa. And I'm gonna scoot it just a little bit closer to the sofa. Boop, 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 since I can with the move objects on sheet. There we go. All right, now let's clutter these up just a little bit. Oh, you know what I wanna do? Let's add a stereo because you might want to listen to some soothing music while you're reading your books. So we will go ahead um, and just put this little bitty one right here on this bottom shelf. And this does work. You will be able to use the stereo because I have done this in other house builds. And the Sims can use the stereo when you do this. Okay, so got that. Now, um, what else can we put on this table? Let's go into the statues and see. You know what, there's a little, there's a puppy dog that I like. Here he is. Let's put him on there, here. Okay. And what do we want to put on? Let's put some other stuff. Um, let's just put this butterfly picture here maybe. And maybe a plant. This one is pretty reliable. Boop, there you go. <laughs> Excuse the um, sound effects. Okay. Um, let's put a flower on this table. And we'll go pink to match our rug and everything. How's that looking so far? I think it looks pretty good so far. Let's put some rugs underneath the desk area. Okay, let's do, let's do something different. Let's do this, is that, that the color that we, does that match the blue kind of in this? Kind of okay, I guess. That's probably the best matchy patchy for the circles in this other rug. Let's just find out real quick. Got that blue, that does not match, that does not really match. Um, okay, I think the other one that we had looks better. Okay, so let's do something different. Let's, let's kind of just make our own little rug here. And let's see if there's like a, let's see what that looks like. Let's see if there's a softer purpley pinky color. All right, how about that? I think that looks okay. What do you think? Let's stick some curtains up while we're in here. Um, and let's just go ahead and use this Storm Life panel, which is a curtain that I use over and over and over again because it just seems to fit really well in a modern setting. Okay, so we got that. That looks good. All right, now back over here to our sitting area and our fireplace area. You know what? Let's, um, we're, we'll go ahead and put a picture above that instead of a television. 
but you know what you could do since you have this little nice seating area if you wanted to use this room as a living room a small living room you could all you'd have to do is just put a TV above the fireplace then you'd be all set you know for a living room area too but because it is a home office we don't really want to have that many distractions of course the computer itself is a big distraction when you're trying to work but <laughs> anyway we'll just go ahead and put a picture up here um, a painting up here and let's go ahead and throw a light in above this painting and if you've watched any of my builds before I bet you can guess automatically which light that I'm gonna want to stick up here yep that one let's do it in the brown um, So we want to do it in the darkest brown or that brown. Let's do it in the darkest brown. We can always change the color if we decide that we want to change the color later, which I might very well do. Um, I don't know how that brown is going to look. Let's do it in this color for right now to kind of match the picture frame. Okay. And let's do something a little bit different over here. We need something to give this, this wall some oomph. You know, something to make it a little bit different jazz it up a little bit how about we throw in some mirrors um, maybe this one maybe in the black or the dark gray we'll try the dark gray um, but I might switch that to black we'll just see and let's go ahead let's go down one Let's do this. How's that looking? I think that looks kind of neat. What do you think? And we'll put some on the other side. I think that looks kind of neat. And you know what? Let's put another row. Put some right here just to kind of, you know, do something a little different. Now your sim has a mirror that they can practice their speech in and get their charisma skill up and pep themselves up and all that good stuff. Okay. I think that looks kind of neat. What do you think? Think so? I do. Okay. Let's put some clutter on top of this fireplace mantle. How about, uh, how about some plants? How about, there is a plant that's not really big. What about this one that will go up there? Uh, the only trouble with the fireplace mantle plants and, and things is sometimes they uh, are too big to go here. So we'll just stick that there. What about, um, there's another one that's little. How about him? Let's stick him up here him right there and maybe we'll put some candles in the middle what do you think and why am I not seeing there they are just stick those right there too bad they don't come in blue okay I think that's looking okay what do you think uh, let's stick something over here like a little table um, a little accent table Let's go with this guy maybe in the blue. I think that does pretty good. And it's really dark in this corner, so let's stick a lamp on top of this table. Uh, what I use over and over again is, why am I not seeing it? It's, the, it's this guy. <laughs> we'll just do him. Let's put him right there. That that made a big difference in that corner over there. Let's go ahead and stick a painting on top of or above that table. Something with blue in it. Uh, how about you? You're good. Let's put you up here. Um, I don't like that gold around that one. Okay, yeah, that's better. We'll just stick you there. I think you look pretty good there. Now we need plants. Need plants. Okay. 
you know what? We're almost done, I think, other than the plants. I think we're looking pretty good. Okay. Let's stick this great, that, that really big plant over here in this corner on the right side of the fireplace, this one. Let's stick him there. I think he'll look good there. And where is this? There's a tall, this one. I think he comes in kind of like a blue. Let's stick him there. How's that look? I think that looks pretty good. All right. And now, of course, we need plants beside the desk. Um, how about this one, maybe? Is this the tall one? I think so. Um, stick him right there. I need another tall one. Um, what would he look like right there? I think he looks pretty good right there. What do you think? I think so, maybe. Is that the tallest one of those? You know what? We could do him. Let's do him. Yeah, let's do him. Boop, there you go. Very nice, very nice. And let's just kind of look around and see what we think. You know what we need? Um, we need paneling behind the fireplace. Yes, definitely. I think that looks a whole lot better. We definitely needed that. Um, and with that done, guys, I think we're finished. I think we have succeeded in building a very nice modern home office. And I want to thank you all so very much for building this room with me. And I'll be right back with some screenshots. I'm really happy with the way this home office turned out, and I hope you all like it as well. If you would like to download this room, it is available on the Origin Gallery. Just search for my Origin user ID, Simmer Deb, and you should find it with no problems. And I want to thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Let's Build. If you did enjoy it, please let me know in the comments down below. Please leave me a like and please subscribe. See you next time.